Well, this tourist went to China as a tourist, and he visited Shanghai. And he's on the pier casting about for souvenirs right before he came back to the States. And he sees a man with a cart, and he goes up to the cart and he says, uh, I would like to, to get a souvenir. And he makes himself understood. And the man says, oh, you like, you like, you like a Bolex watch? And then it says, you mean a Rolex watch? Oh, no, Bolex watch, original one. He says, no, no, I don't want a Bolex watch. What about Vicky Moto Pearl? He says, do you, do you mean a Mickey Moto Pearl? Mickey Moto Pearls? He says, oh, no, not Japanese one, Chinese one, Vicky Moto Pearl. No, I don't want a Vicky Moto Pearl. The guy says, well, what else you got? He says, I got, I got a golden rat. He says, how much for the golden rat? <clears throat> man says, for you, $25 for the rat, $60,000 for the story. That is a, that is a quick computation in his mind. He says, yeah, well, I think I'll take a rat for 25 bucks. Is it a real rat, 24 karat gold? Oh yeah, a real rat. So the guy shells out his 25 bucks. He takes the, the golden rat, and as he walks away from the vendor, out of the woodwork, crawling, come all the rats you ever saw, like the Pied Piper of Hamlin following him down the pier. And he hustles and he hustles and he goes faster and faster and faster, and the rats keep coming, so he starts running, the rats keep coming, so he climbs up on a lamppost and hurls the golden rat as far as he can out into the, into the bay. And the rats all swarm past him, off the edge of the pier, swim out to where the golden rat sank, and swirl around in circles so they all drown. And after the rats have all drowned, he's curious, and he goes back, walking up to the guy with the vendor cart. And the vendor says, ah, you have returned for the story. And then says, oh no, I don't want the story about the golden rat. I want to know, do you have a golden lawyer? <laughs>